what's up guys welcome to another video my name is sparkman today we're going to create an automatic door select the door cinematics let's go to matinee let's call this a uh, super door and let's add a new movement track let's hit enter we're gonna drag the play needle all the way to say two seconds <clears throat> let's extend the range let's move the door Wow, I'm coughing a lot. And let's add a new keyframe. Let's play this. Whoa, that works fine. So we are going to need a trigger to open the door. So let's find a trigger. It's going to be a box trigger. Let's make this uh, super big. And that seems not too bad there. Okay. I hope I'm not getting, <clears throat> I hope I'm not getting the flu. I don't think you can get the flu over the internet, can you? Okay, so with this selected, let's open our blueprint. Our level blueprint. So we are going to need a collision. Add event uh, trigger. Collision. On actor overlap. Okay, so let's uh, go to the uh, level again. And let's find our matinee movie. Which is over here. Let's select it. And let's find play. Where is play? Cinematic, play. Now all we have to do is uh, connect the overlap to the play button. Compile this and let's run it. Let's walk up to the door. Whoa, and it opens. Wow. But when I walk away from the door, it doesn't close again. Let's fix that. Let's select the trigger again and let's go back to the blueprint. And this time is going to be when the actor is not overlapping the uh, object. Actor and overlap. Let's select our movie. And let's find reverse. Reverse. Cinematic reverse. Let's connect the end overlap to the uh, reverse movie. Compile. Close this. And let's try it out. Let's walk to the door. Whoa, it opens. And it closes behind us. Wow, that was so simple. Open. And close. Down below you can see a subscribe button. Subscribe, like the video. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye now.